Curd. Now, when I say Canadian Grinker, I'm talking about the molten Canadian Grinker. You gotta be really confused by <laughs> I'm your host, Adam. You know me as the Brewhead. That's right. So today we're going to talk about a beer. And I thought, well, with Tanner Day coming up, actually in a couple of days, actually. Today is Thursday, uh, a couple of days before Tanner Day. And I thought, well, why the hell not do something for Tanner Day? Yeah, I could go with Connect Parallel, but I've already done a whole video devoted to Connect Parallel and how I love that beer with my heart. Oh my god, it hurts. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Uh, so we're going to talk about a beer that it actually have gone. So, okay. But, oh, tomorrow. That's right. That's Canadian Pale Ale. Now, if you see this can, avoid it. Here you go. This is the new can now. This is the new branding. Okay? Now, the only reason why I'm saying to avoid this one. In just this one. One reason why. This one is actually, you have to look on the bottom of the can, okay? Now, this one is March 23rd, 2017. That's really old. I don't know. Anyway, and now the new branding, the price, it is June 23rd. 2017. Now, that was just eight days ago. Yeah, eight days ago. That is crazy. Just a week old, and I really like the new branding. Now, look at that. Like, major graphic. Now, I really like how this one looks way better than this one. This one looks way better. Very good. Even at yeah, the back too, like I really like that. This is gonna turn in it. That's gonna be a lot of Canadian green curd. Now when I say Canadian green curd, I'm talking about the molten Canadian green curd. You gotta be really confused by that. And you know what? They all look at it. Learn the lesson anyway. So, old tomorrow is Canadian Pale Ale at 4.9% and I believe it's 18 IBU according to Untap. Now, I did a beer program review uh, about this can a couple of days ago and I did it and I thought, wow, well, that's really weird. Kind of takes it off it to me that I didn't even look at the date. Oop, first mistake. So, I'm really hoping this one will, because I was like, oh, I want to press the can, and so I went around Guelph and found, well, I didn't really go around, I just wanted to do one out to be in there, just happened to have it, and so, here we go. Woo, nice down. And go over to be laundry, the clutter, ooh, that's looking way better than the other color that I had yesterday. The other color, the other one that I did yesterday, the beer review yesterday, that was not that color. It was almost more darker color. So you can tell the grimper when it's the fresh can and the old can. So this one, I'm going to say it's a light darker color. It's very clear, very nice. And a nice white head up there. Now that is a hell of a lot better aroma than the, uh, the can that I had yesterday, actually, so. Got that nice smell of the moss, the moss backbone. And then a bit green and then a bit... Very nice. Cheers! Now, they is totally different than yesterday. Yesterday was like, there was a little, a little really off taste to it. But this one, it got the, the bitchu, a nice toasty, light, very lighty toasty bitchu. And it got that nice little uh, bite here on the background. Hmm. Now, this is more like it. I actually like this one compared to the old can. But, anyway, um, yeah, I got a nice little bitter, like, 
and I kind of leave a little lingering taste uh, on your tongue uh, for your grinker. Uh, that's all the, uh, the grain, the rye, it's kind of almost like rye with spicy or something like that. So this is the Teladium Pale Ale. So, well, they like to call it the Pale Ale. But, yeah, it's definitely uh, really nice. So, um, I will say, if you want to celebrate Halloween Day, then uh, go ahead with the Thursday uh, John A. McDonald here and uh, try to find this one, this can. And I'm going to do a nice sweet dusty can right here. So I find that one. And that's the best you can you can find. And just quite to avoid uh, this one. Um, it just tastes a little bit old and a little bit off for me. So, anyway. Happy Canada Day.